One of the most common phrases I hear from entrepreneurs is, it's too late, I'm too old. I should have started my business a long time ago and you know, I'm just I'm not a young kid anymore. I can't do it. And I love to come back and say, actually, if you look at the data, you are completely wrong on this. The average patent applicant is 47. The most valuable patents often come from people who are over 55. The way that we sustain our creativity over time is not through all of a sudden having a vision and then immediately knowing what to do with it. It's through tinkering, experimenting, going down rabbit holes and trying ideas that we never would have considered before. If you think about it, right, a lot of creativity comes from moments that are the opposite of deja vu. There's actually a name for them. They're called vujade. And vujade is that, that feeling that we all love where you look at something you've seen many times before, but suddenly you recognize it with fresh eyes. And we all need to have more of those. And the easiest way to have them is to immerse yourself in a new domain. Even the hobbies you pick up can really matter. So if you look at Nobel Prize winning scientists, you will find that Nobel Prize winners are significantly more likely to have artistic hobbies than their peers. And those seem to play a role in breakthrough insights and innovations. And Galileo, first astronomer to spot mountains on the moon, but not the first astronomer to look through a telescope and see those exact images. He was just the first one to recognize them. Why? He was trained in a drawing technique that involved the use of shading to represent changes in elevation. And when he saw different dark and light spots on the moon, he realized those had to be mountains. So just pursuing a hobby that's a little bit outside of your comfort zone can often give you a new lens for seeing, and that can help you become more creative however old you are.